This is Twit. You know what we're going to go for right now? What? It's time for a call for help. Megan Maroney, who's our caller today? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Google, who's our caller? Hi, Blaine. Blaine from Chattanooga. Hey, Blaine. Hi. How you doing? I, I think my smart device has made me stupid. <laughs> they'll, they'll do that. Blaine, do you have any of these, a uh, Google Home or an Echo or anything? No, no, we don't have any of those. You don't want them, probably. No. You know, you know <laughs> they, what, need, they need a call for help. Yeah, they, <laughs> they sure do. do. They do. You know what Blaine does have, though? I'm very jealous. Chattanooga is one of the few municipalities in the country that uh, has Wi-Fi, municipal Wi-Fi, very high-speed municipal Wi-Fi, oddly enough, through the power company, right? Yes, it's uh, fiber optics through the power company. Nice. How Do, do you have it? Uh, yes, we. I've got the 100 megs a second. We can get the gig for about $10 more, but wow. you really don't need it. It's rock solid. So you get, uh, what's the ups, upload uh, speed? It's 100. 100 symmetric? Yes. Can I ask you how much you pay? $57.99. Oh, man. What? And this is why, by the way, Comcast and Verizon have gone to every state legislature in the country and tried to ban this because it's too cheap, it's too good, and because they can't they're compete. Afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid. They should be afraid. I, I, this is a real success story, the Chattanooga mm -hmm. uh, power. So tell us what your question is. So uh, I want to get into the home automation thing, and I know that most of them work off of a hub, and I'd like to buy one hub uh, one time and then have it expandable for the future, you know, so that I don't have to buy another one to do another set of things, maybe possibly open a garage door, start a crock pot, turn lights right. on, things like that. That was the whole premise of Smart Things, one of our uh, sponsors in days gone by, uh, which eventually Samsung uh, bought, uh, was one hub to rule them all because it did Zigbee, it did Z-Wave, it did all the protocols. Even then, you still had to have a Hue hub that the Samsung would talk. It was still, it's a mess. Yeah, but we are heading away from hubs. I think fewer and fewer hubs so. are needed. Okay. Like the home, this is a hub. Your home, the pod, home is pod is a hub. The iPad can be a hub. But, and we talked about this on iOS today. Yeah, once you set up HomeKit, everything, every Mac device is in effect a hub. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you, I, I mean, I, you said you were an iOS person. Otherwise, I wouldn't yes. be just rec recommending all this iOS stuff. But you don't have a HomePod. No, not do you, yet. Do you have an Apple TV? We used to, but we switched to Roku, ah. just there because of Plex. Mm. You do know that everything works better if it's all Apple. <laughs> <laughs> you do know that, right? That's why they're a trillion dollar company. That's right, how exactly. you get to be a trillion dollar okay. company. You, see you joke, but as we talked about on iOS today, HomeKit, there aren't as many th devices that work with HomeKit because they have a stricter policy, more security, and they want all their devices to work. Also, as we said on iOS today, for years they required a hardware com mm -hmm. component, an expensive hardware component in every device. And a lot of manufacturers said, you know, that's a non-starter. I'm not going to be HomeKit compatible. That's shifted now. It's software only, and more and more companies are coming along. HomeKit is definitely up and coming. It just hasn't been around as easy to implement and mm -hmm. as inexpensive to implement as the others until now. Now, you uh, you said that you were busy and you like to use the crock pot, but you don't want yeah. to turn it on in the morning. Is that the not problem? A, yeah, not everything cooks for 10, 8 to 10 hours. Yeah. You want no, to start right. something halfway through the day and have it cook and be ready when you get home. We've you know got what's five. really good? Oh. Have you ever cooked... Uh, Chilean sea bass? <laughs> 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 have you ever cooked steel-cut oats in a crock pot overnight? So you put them in, you put the water in, you put it on low as it can go, mm -hmm. and in the morning, delicious oatmeal. Mm. Sometimes I'll put a little extra fruit in there. I don't know. Why did we... I don't did, <laughs> Okay. So... Why am I saying this? You know what I do do? One more thing. And then, what do and then you, you do can do? actually answer your question. I have a sous vide that does that. Mm -hmm. It's called the mellow. It chills the meat or whatever is in there until the cooking time that you set. Actually, what you don't even set that, you say, I want to eat at 6 p.m. And then the mellow will figure out, will back time it, will chill it until it needs to turn the heat on and then automatically turn the heat on. That doesn't have a, po a hub, it's just uh, Wi Fi enabled. Uh, but I, I could see how that would be really good for a crock pot, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody, is there anybody who makes a crock pot like that? Um, there, are, there's, there are crock pots out there, but you already have a crock pot, right? 
I have three, yeah, like three or four. Oh. Okay, so you don't want to buy. Well, you a really whole... like crockpot cookery. <laughs> they're busy. They're so because they're oh, busy the crock- streaming the internet busy. stuff because yeah. their internet. No, an, an Instapot, yeah. uh, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are great. Okay, so I have a device that can make any sm- any device with a plug, including smart. your crockpot, smart. smart. And it doesn't require a hub at all. So your garage door opener, that's a bigger problem. Um, I didn't have time to prepare the answer to that, but I will show you a a dance floor. (laughs) (laughs) Garage door, dance floor, what's the difference? My favorite smart plugs are Wemo smart plugs. And they work with HomeKit. And just recently, they and this this is the Wemo right here. Just recently, they started working even without a hub. Theory I have, I have no here. Words. Okay. <laughs> no, and this is where Apple, I think, in the long run, might have a leg up because they've really designed all of this to work with any Apple device, and that you can script it, you can set situations, you can say, you know, uh, I don't know, you can have an elaborate script. Open the garage door and start the slow cooker. At you know, at and so that's nice, mm-hmm. and it's a lot easier to do that if you have a computer or a phone that has that capability. Right. That's an advantage, frankly, uh, over Amazon. Ultimately, Google may win because Android, if they add these capabilities to Android. But right now, Apple, I think, has a leg up. When Siri suggestions uh, and Siri scripting comes out in iOS 12, this is going to be probably the right way to do it. Right. So you just get yourself one of these Wemo smart plugs. You can get them at Costco. I think they're two-pack for $30. Oh, that's I think, not bad. Yeah, no. Amazon, they might be. I think two-pack for 40 so all this is capable of doing, though, is turning on power. Right. So, so it, you'd have to have a slow cooker that would automatically, when, when plugged in, go into the right mode and turn on. I, don't, I think most slow cookers won't do that. They won't? We've got, we've got that. Okay. Okay. The older, the older ones, the less, the more the dumber ones. The dumber, yeah. yeah. So They have a, a dial that's right. high, low, warm. <laughs> yeah, right. so, it just, so if it's so plugged in, it goes into whatever mode it's, the dial yeah. is set in. Yeah, that's what you need. Right. So this does not require a hub or anything. And so I have it connected to this very dumb light. This is not a smart light. And then all I have to say is this is called the torch. I've called it the torch. Um, I don't know if you can see it. And all I have to say is here you see. Turn on my torch. Done. And Done. then it turns on. So Done. you could you could name it slow cooker. Turn on my pork. And then it would turn on your pork. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so what that, do you like to slow cook? Oh, chicken. You take an entire chicken breast and put it uh, breast side down and just let it cook for four or five hours. And it doesn't become dry because the right. breast is down. Um, do you put chili. some special sauce in there like uh, stuff to or Salt, and pepper, and butter. That's all that's you it. need. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. That sounds Spaghetti great. sauce, uh, stew, sure. beef yeah. tips, yeah. all that. No, it's great for a family, and it is actually would be a great thing to say, start cooking at 3 instead of start cooking at 9 when I leave. Right. Because yeah. so, it's dry and burnt. Yeah. yeah. So you can do that from wherever you are rice, if you have a hub. Cooking rice, because mm-hmm. you only need, what, a half an hour to cook rice. It would be mm-hmm. great if you could say, I'm on my way home, start the rice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, that Amazon Echo over there, the Echo Plus, is a um, the silver one, is also a hub. That's a Zigbee hub inside the Echo. So if you decide to change your mind and you wanted to get one of these devices, um, you know, for you know I have one. I've never opened it. What? <laughs> because I can't figure out. So you'd have to have a smart device that's Zigbee. Mm-hmm. And then what do you get? What's the advantage? The advantage is you just ask it, and then it finds all your smart devices, so lights and stuff, and then it just But it already does that on Wi-Fi. But if it's a Zigbee device, it'll find those now, too. Yeah. Okay, Mm -hmm. I get it. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I could say, for instance, it'll find all my Sonos devices. It'll search. But that's because they're all on the Wi-Fi network. Okay. So, Anthony, Quite honestly, we just want to trigger all this stuff from the phone. We all have iPhones, so... We could set it up and just trigger it that way. Yeah, so you, you just want something HomeKit right? enabled then, yeah, for sure. Yeah, from the Home app, from wherever yeah. you are. Right. Um, that you could might... have a scenario in your home app, home app. You just tap it or you activate it with Siri, and, and all of that stuff would happen. That'd be great, yeah. But you might need an Apple TV. I mean, I guess the iPad would do it. I don't know if an iPhone. Oh, because you need something that there. you still need a hub. Something that's there. Do, or a HomePod would work, right? right? You can a get HomePod. a HomePod. They sound get great. Get a HomePod. Yeah, very easy. Play for Galicious. <laughs> Fergalicious featuring Will I Am by Fergie now playing. You could also do that. <laughs> I have to Sounds say, the sound quality is really good. On it is. Yeah. Plus, when you accidentally touch it, it's fun for everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Lisa loves hers. We ended up getting another one for her office because she really likes listening to the mm-hmm. HomePod, and it's very easy for her to control with Siri. So if you're already kind of Apple-y, mm. yeah. 
I know they're not cheap. I don't, you know, it's funny in the Apple quarterly results, they didn't really talk about the HomePod, which mm -hmm. usually means it's not doing all that well. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but Apple's committed, and it's a big part of that home kit uh, ecosystem, so they need something. So it could be an Apple TV, an iPad, if you wanted to leave it on and sitting there, or a HomePod. Any mm -hmm. three of those could control everything. But they'd in have the house. to be there. Yeah. They'd have to. It has mm -hmm. to be in the home, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I also like the Eve products from Elgato. We um, those can do all kinds of things too. Um, they, they have this. This is the smart plug that's attached to my Princess Leia. So I just say, "Hey, Siri, hey, turn off Princess Leia," and then she turns off. All set. <laughs> so so useful. you could do that. So useful. Um, and then, of course, the, the dance floor. And um, <laughs> I'm going to show you this, Blaine from Chattanooga, even though you didn't ask about it. <laughs> it's the dodecahedron of yeah. death. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this is not a hub, but it's a remote. So if you were at home and you wanted to turn on your slow cooker, you can assign each of these little corners to do something. So Could you do that, though, at work? No. And it would no. It has to be in the same uh, space. Yeah. Okay. So um, if you, I the, the trick of this is each of these facets. There's 20 of them. Is numbered, and so you have to memorize which number goes with which function, and then make sure that that number is mm -hmm. facing up. And you do that in your uh, in, in your, your spare home time. <laughs> yeah. Label maker. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Label maker. But then that ruins the beauty of this thing. Look at yeah. it. Changes colors. And, and then yeah, you can turn on the um, dance floor what, there. What number is dance floor? Four. <laughs> Did we unplug it? We might have because oh, I've been messing with it. Okay. Um, yeah, so that isn't what Wait, you did we ever figure out is it tapping it no, or just, you just putting move it upright? It. Yeah, you just put it upright. So Yeah. There, look. That's Nemo. Ooh. You can see that if we turn the lights Ooh. off. But um, So basically this is crap. <laughs> this is no, all it's thing not. Is, this is all just a bunch of non working, semi functional stuff that Silicon Valley is laying on us. And that I'm using all of it every day and do you taking, is, is it driving your family nuts it kind of is yeah i i do <laughs> kind of nuts is. but blaine anthony did something that no one else can do and that is he googled wire cutters recommendation for a smart garage door opener there it is the chamberlain <laughs> smart garage door. you probably already uh, yeah. looked at this and read the review because it requires a hub which is what you didn't want to oh, do a nuts. my q hub but they said the wire cutter says they like the my q hub and uh, it works with Apple this is Home where Kit. this is so dis frustrating because this has been a, pl a pl it's plagued home automation for more than a decade now is the fact that each device required its own hub we had hoped that Z-Wave or Zigbee, one of these protocols, would mean you'd only need a Z-Wave hub and everything would be Z-Wave. But nobody won. No, and the problem with standards is you can always make another one. And so there's no, it's, it's just a, a mess. It's a Tower of Babel right mm -hmm. now. It's too bad because you can see how valuable all of this would be.